Uh, good morning and check. Uh, uh, you can call me Sue. I'll be the dietitian attending to you today. Um, can I find out how can I help you? Well, uh, thank you for seeing me, but actually I've been referred by my doctor mm -hmm. because he has diagnosed me having diabetes. Oh, okay. So he says that I should go and see a dietitian mm -hmm. to help me control my diabetes. Ah, There's okay. a letter from him for okay. you to look into it. Yeah, thank you. And yep, the doctor has indeed referred you to me for um, management of your sugar levels. Uh, so I'll be doing several things today in the session. First, I'll be taking your height and weight and uh, some other measurements as well. Then after that, I'll find out what you normally eat in a day. So the whole session will take about 30 minutes. Um, can we proceed? Um, Mr. Gaffa, can you please follow me here? Sure. Uh, apologies, can you please stand facing me? Sorry. Yes, that would be correct. Okay. Now, can you please straighten your back? Okay, so that we'll get an accurate height. Now, lower your head down a little bit. Now I'm going to lower the board down to your head. So yeah, I have to mess the head out a bit. Okay, this is at 162. All right, let me just take the measurement again. Huh? Okay, stand straight. Okay, head down a bit. Okay, bring it down. Okay, 162. Thank you very much. Now, can we proceed to take your weight next? If you have anything heavy in your pockets, please uh, take it out and then leave it there. All right. Now, can you please stand on the weighing scale? Then your feet is centered on the platform as well. Okay, at 80.4. Is this your usual weight? About that, sir. Okay, yeah. all right. Maybe one or two <laughs> kilos, sometimes it changes. Sure, yeah. so you can keep your stuff, put your shoes, okay. and then um, we'll proceed on to the diet recall next. Um, well, first we will make a list of uh, what you have eaten in the past week. Uh, you, it may help you to remember what you were eating when you were also at home or when you were working or when you were driving around in your taxi. So, uh, can you tell me what you ate in the past week? Well, uh, normally I have, uh, for breakfast, I will have uh, roti. Okay. Uh, and then for lunch, I will have rice mm -hmm. with some dishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, afternoon tea, I will have drink with some kueh okay. and for dinner I will eat my wife's food. Okay, food. have to go home and cook. Yes, uh, eat. Okay, um, besides some of these foods that you were telling me about, are there any other uh, beverages or drinks or snacks that you have together with these meals? During my working hours or at home? Uh, throughout the day. <coughs> well, during my working time, normally mm. I will have some cordial drinks. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, after dinner, I will have some snacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you remember what snacks they are? Normally I buy for the children cream puffs, mm -hmm. cream biscuits, okay. chocolates, mm -hmm. some ice creams. Mm -hmm. So when I watch TV, mm -hmm. I will eat with them. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, how about next? Can you tell me um, where and also what time you have these meals? <laughs> well, for breakfast, mm. I will eat at the hawker stall. Okay. Okay, as I mentioned it now, mm -hmm. my, I have my breakfast by 7.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, for 
lunch or so, I eat at the local store. Right. <coughs> and for my tea also at the local store. Yeah. Okay, um, Mr. Kamba, thank you for sharing. Okay. Um, now I would like to actually find out more about your food, uh, such as how it was cooked, uh, what were the ingredients. If you can even remember the brand name, that would be fantastic. Um, how about this? Earlier you mentioned that for breakfast, you normally have roti. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about uh, the portions that you consume? Well, for roti, normally mm -hmm. I have uh, roti telur. Mm -hmm. Plus plain roti. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be two pieces for me in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. know how what are the portions? You only serve in a plate. Mm -hmm. We cover about almost this size. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. How about the teh tarik that you have with your breakfast? Teh tarik is in a glass. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you show me which of these parts? It's about this glass. Yeah. About this glass. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, right. So subsequently for your lunch meal, can you tell me about the portions? Normally I scoop uh, the rice I will scoop mm. myself. Okay. You see this one, okay. alright? So there will be about three scoops of this. Okay. So is the scoop flat or it's if. Can you tell me about the dishes? Dishes is either chicken or fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me about the portions? <coughs> the fish will be just one fish, okay. about this size. Mm -hmm. And for the chicken, just about palm size. Okay. Yeah. Right. Are there any other dishes? No, only that. Yeah. So, um, how about the syrup that you have? It's in one glass. Um, Serve in a glass. Okay. So about this glass or so. Okay. Um, normally, how are the chicken or the fish prepared? For the fish, I either take in the forms of uh, asam pedas, mm -hmm. uh, curry. Okay. Masak kicap, mm -hmm. and for the chicken, the big deep fried chicken. Do you normally consume it with or without the skin? With the skin. I prefer to eat with the skin. Okay. Um, <coughs> how about your afternoon tea? Afternoon tea, uh, mm. as I always, I always have my copy of ice mm -hmm. right? and also probably three pieces of curry puff okay. or pisang okay. Can you show me um, this album? Um, the sizes of the curry puff or the pisang goreng that you normally have? The size is about this one. Okay. Yeah. And then for yeah. your Pisang goreng? Pisang goreng, yeah, it's about this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, how about your dinner? How are your portions like? The portion is about the same as lunch, mm -hmm. three scoops of rice. Okay. Yeah. And your dishes? Dishes are either chicken or Mm. Uh, fish mm -hmm. together with some veggie. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Can you tell me about the portions of the fish and the veggie? Fish is just about one piece. One okay. piece, a uh, small fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The chicken is about the same size. Okay. Yeah. And the veggie is about one, about one scoop of this. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Flat or heat again? Well, I can't put it flat for the for the veggie. Okay. Uh, it has to be one scoop or it's Alright. Okay. All right. Mm. okay. Um, how about your last meal, dinner? How are your portions like? Well, for dinner, I have rice. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, in terms of portions, about three scoops. Okay. And then there's like lunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I also, together with fish, mm-hmm. uh, and sometimes with chicken. Okay. Mm. And during dinner, along there, I take vegetables too. Okay. How are your portions for both of these dishes? For the fish, is one, one fish. Okay. If I take chicken, it's about four small, small pieces. Okay. And for the veggie, about three tablespoons. Okay. Alright. How about your plain water with dinner? Yeah, I take plain water. Okay. Just a glass of okay. plain water. So the glass? The same glass. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Now, I'm going to find out um, some of the frequency of the food that you eat. Uh, can you yeah. tell me how frequent you have your roti telok and your roti biasa in Kosong? For my roti, it'll be about four times in a week. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, how about your day tarik? Day tarik about seven times a week. Okay. Almost every day. Mm-hmm. How about the frequency of your food from lunch onwards? Lunch, I will have it uh, almost every day. Mm-hmm. Outside. Okay. Yeah. How about the choices that you have? The chickens, the fish, how often do you have these things? Mm-hmm. Chicken about four times in a week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fish about three times in a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. How about your afternoon tea? Afternoon tea is... I think it's about six times in a week. Okay. Now, dinner you would have at home. Can you tell yeah. me um, how frequent your wife cooks? She cooks every day. Ah, yeah. including weekends as well? Uh, we can normally go out and eat. Okay. Alright. Um, can I just find out how frequent is your intake of uh, fish and chicken and also vegetables for dinner time? Mm. Chicken is about four times in a week mm-hmm. and fish about three times in a week. Okay, so similar to your lunch time. Yeah, and veggie almost every day. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. now you said that your wife will cook mostly on weekdays uh, and then weekends. Is it different? We can almost uh, it's about the same except that sometimes we do go out and okay. eat. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And then what would you actually be eating during the weekend? We can normally uh, bring my children, there will be a fast food. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me examples of the fast food that you will have? Probably KFC. Okay. Alright. Now, is there any other things that uh, you have told me uh, that you might have forgotten to tell me from this time? Yeah, especially for breakfast. Mm. Uh, if I don't take uh, roti, mm-hmm. then I'll be taking fr- fried meat. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. How about the drinks? Would it be the same? The drink will be the same. Lastly, can I confirm if this is your usual intake for the past week? Uh, breakfast, lunch, mm-hmm. afternoon tea, dinner, yes. Also. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Okay. Um, what would you think in your diet actually affects your sugar level? I think I've been eating too much. Mm-hmm. And so the eating late at night, very late at night, that has caused my blood sugar to go up. Mm-hmm. And probably this is bad to, for my health. You, you would be right. Um, if you were to eat too much, then the sugar levels can go up really high. Um, do you have an idea what kinds of foods in your diet that might be causing this? Probably is a bad... Mm-hmm. the rice mm. and the sweetened drinks I've been taking. Okay, um, these can be the foods that can increase your sugar levels. 
they are also high in energy which can affect a person's weight. Um, actually, some of the foods like your roti canai and then also your syrup and then also your rice, they can be considered carbohydrate-rich foods and then they can have an impact on your blood sugar. Um, the impact is more than something like a protein food such as your chicken or your fish. Um, what, what do you think of this information? Well, I didn't know about the carbohydrates actually. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me on what sure. you see that? Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, let's, let's take a look at the meal. Um, there are certain foods like your roti chanai or even your uh, rice and also your fruits which can have an impact on your sugar. Now these foods should be eaten in moderation. Um, it seems like uh, the sh recent sugar level of 11 is most likely related to the amount of carbohydrate that you've been eating at these meals. So the ideal control is less than 6.1 before a meal and then after 2 hours it should be less than 8. So the difference here before and after a meal is more than 2 millimoles. So actually what do you think of this so far? Is there any questions that you would like to ask at this point? Well, I don't know what you're saying. I think I have a clear idea now. Mm -hmm. But how do I fix it? Okay, um, one way would be uh, for the portion sizes at breakfast and also your lunch plus your afternoon tea. Um, they could be smaller. We could keep to the amount of, uh, say, like one piece of roti chanai, the roti koso. And then after that, for lunchtime, instead of the syrup, you can go for the plain water instead, uh, which you're doing very well at dinner. And then after that, for your curry puff, instead of having three pieces, you can try uh, one to two pieces only. Uh, by cutting down the portions here, this can have a very good effect on your blood sugar. Um, but what do you think about this? Well, I can try, but mm. I cannot guarantee that I can fully comply 100%. Okay. This moment. Okay, yeah. I understand. Um, what, what makes you say this? Well, after I found out that I'm having diabetes, mm -hmm. I try to eat less, mm. but I feel hungry actually. When you eat less, it's actually normal to feel hungry. Mm. Mm, but what does eating less food mean to you in terms of managing your sugar levels? Well, after you explained to me, uh, and also the doctor has already explained to me that if I don't control my diet, it will cause some other mm -hmm. uh, problems to me, like heart problem, kidney, mm -hmm. um, which uh, I'm really concerned about it. Okay. And even my brother now is on the dialysis machine mm -hmm. because he has been diabetes mm -hmm. and he didn't control his diet. But I get angry hungry as well. Mm -hmm. mm. For eating less. Mm. Um, I actually agree. Um, although eating less is also a good way to manage your diabetes. Um, I'm curious, how do you manage your hunger when you were eating lesser the last time? Well, it was manageable, eh? mm -hmm. but on the first day, I was mm. very hungry. Okay. And but on the second day, mm. yeah, I was able to manage it by drinking mm. water, mm -hmm. plain water during mm. between meals. Okay. Mm. By eating smaller portions and uh, also drinking water in between, you will feel hungry. Um, at the same time, I also hear that uh, you want better blood sugar and this is important to you because you don't want to end up like your brother. So, what do you plan to do? Well, as far as the hunger is a small problem, mm -hmm. I think I can eat less. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have any idea when and how you're going to start eating lesser? Well, we start having only one protein. Mm -hmm. uh, reduce the curry puff by one. Mm -hmm. And also stop drinking sweetened things. Okay. I think that's fantastic. 
Um, so we've talked about how to control, um, or, or rather how controlling uh, blood sugar is very important to you. And then um, also it seems like you have decided to eat smaller portions for your meals and also for your snacks. And um, I think the habit of drinking plain water is a fantastic way. Um, actually, do you have any other questions? No, I don't think I have any other questions. Okay. Um, I think you're quite clear on what you have to do and I really thank you for your time for coming over here to discuss um, this whole management thing with me. Um, do you think we can arrange for a follow-up? Probably in a month? Sure. Okay, thank you. Let's do this. Thank you for your advice. Thank you.